Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another double unboxing video for you today from EMP EDC. I thought I was only getting one knife. I know what this one is. I have an educated guess what this one is, but uh, let's let's start with the educated guess. Um, so yeah, I reviewed EMP's uh, products before. I reviewed the Slenderman, which I think this is another Slenderman. Uh, different versions have come out since then. I'm going to link to that review down below so you can uh, check that out. Uh, but let, let's just let's see what this is. Pretty much one man shop. This looks like the same uh, faux carbon, very thickly padded thing. Yep, it is a Slenderman. Ooh, it's blue. It is blue. This is one of the new ones. I think they changed the blade steel. I can't remember the blade shape on these new ones. I can't remember if it is a Warney or a Tanto, Tanto, whatever you want to say. I like that very electric blue, though. That is very, very bright blue. Black hardware, black clip. Ooh, not black blade, though. Very glad to see that. And it is the Tanto. Pretty cool. I like these. They're very appropriately named Slender. But they are... They look like OTF letter openers, but I did find it to be fairly useful EDC again. The review is linked down below. And it is S35VN, so it is one of the upgraded ones. It's cool. And <laughs> it's a... Uh, Seal number 69, Noise. Uh, there's a little story behind that. The, the last one I reviewed, I wanted number 69, but uh, these all get, these are made overseas and they all get quality checked and assembled here. And um, there was a pretty good scratch on old serial number 69, and he didn't want it in videos. So he sent me, I think it was 77 or something instead. But got my 69 now because I am a man child. And, uh, and I wanted it. So <laughs> it's cool. I wasn't, didn't know he was sending this, though. Action's really good on these. These are cool. But again, I'm not going to go through stats or anything because I'm just going to link to the previous review I did down below. It's just better steel and different blade shape. My last one was a Warncliffe. So, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, let's get going with the main event. This is, I know this is a Nimble. Now, this is a full titanium frame lock made by QSP. Comes in a couple different color configurations. I have zero idea which one this is. Uh, they are not available right now. They're going to drop in a couple of weeks. So this is a little teaser, and I'm going to link to their site down below so you can you can keep an eye out for when when these drop. And I will be sure to do an actual like proper review. I'll probably put it up like the day they drop, uh, so the or the day before, probably the night before they drop, so that if you guys want one, you can go get one. They are. This was by the way. These go for about 160 bucks. I think that was the D2 one, though. I'm not quite sure what the S35VN one goes for, but I think it's the same. I'm not really positive. These are 279 so made by QSP, pretty good OEM, but let's get it open so you can see it. Lots of stickers, as usual, for them. Nimble frame lock, M390. Oh, you can't see that. Uh, date of birth, uh, June 2021. Serial number four. First production, Got lots of stickers. They always make it rain with the stickers. So yeah, this is the more plain option. There's also a like frag uh, milled pattern that's like kind of a distressed black finish. Those are pretty cool as well. But get this out. <clears throat> I apologize, I lost my voice. I was I had a I was working last night and uh, my voice is not so hot today. All right, here we go. I really like the look of this. Yeah, I like it even more when it's open. You will see when I open it up here in a second. Everything is very smooth and well done. That's that serial number four in the back. Nice blue backspacer. Very cool blue pocket clip. I like this a lot. It, also, you can get it with a Moku tie. It's a bit more. Um, and I think you'd even get the Moku tie afterwards. I think there was an upgrade kit on their site. Uh, of course, everything says sold out right now, but it does, it's not sold out. It hasn't been offered yet. But um, it's just what their software says. But, man, this is really nicely finished. QSP does such a good job. If I was to have my own knife made, I would I would look very seriously at QSP, I think. Um been very impressed with their stuff lately. This is the first of theirs I've ha handled. It's this high end though, M390 and full titanium and all that stuff. But I'm pretty impressed. Now you can open this about a zillion ways, <laughs> if I remember correctly. So it's a front flipper, it's a regular flipper. You can spidey flick it, thumb hole, all that stuff. Which way shall I do it first? Let's do it the most conventional. Let's just use the regular flipper. D2. 
D10 is great for the regular flipper. This is tough. This is a lot of opening methods to get the D10 right for all of them. So we'll see how that is. But looks good. I, I like the look of that blade. I don't know. It's just it's, it's all belly. I normally like to have a little bit of flat, but I don't know. It just looks cool. <laughs> it's just it, it just looks cool. I can't uh, I can't deny that. I think the little EMP logo too is pretty neat. Um, ergos are wow, sh shockingly good. I don't know in pictures. I didn't expect it to be that great, but everything is just so nicely rounded. Especially this pocket clip. Holy cow, like, milled clips sometimes don't exactly, like, disappear in the palm of your hand. But, man, this one does. Look at that. It's just very nicely rounded. Still seems to have a good amount of room in there. I don't think it'll be a problem. You know, uh, in, in jeans and stuff. It works great in the spidey flick. Works great in the thumb flick. Try that front flipper. Wow, they they nailed the detent on this. Holy crap. It works equally fine on all the different deployment methods. A lot of times you have to sacrifice, okay, the detent's really good for the flipper, but maybe the front flip's a little hard or vice versa. This is um this is really well dialed in just kind of all around. And I have to move off camera a second. Nope. Can't shake it out. I'm very impressed with that. And very, very drop shutting. Now this is only a three inch blade, but I think it's gonna break in to be just a total guillotine. I barely have to shake it at all as it is right out of the box. I'm really liking this M390 steel. Now, I don't know if QSP's ever made anything M390 before. I, this is the first to my recollection of them doing that for either their stuff or as an OEM. Somebody correct me down down below if I'm wrong. But oh, the ergos on this thing are so good. Let's grab the uh, the calipers and do a few measurements. So and I'll do size comparison and get get you out of here because again, like I said, I'm gonna do a uh, yeah. So we're not gonna do size comparison. So I'm gonna do a review on this very very quickly. So let's just do some. Uh, very shortly, I should say. So, 0 0.13 and a hair on the, on the blade stock thickness, handle thickness. We've got 0 0.48 and a hair. Do that old thickness behind the edge. I have to take my, my spectacles off for this one. And we've got, make sure I'm on camera here. Here we go. We have. Yeah. 17 thousandths behind the edge. That's not bad at all. Can't complain about that. F fair, it is, it's kind of, I don't know, it's a slightly thicker than average blade stock, but not crazy, so. Um, but yeah, it should slice all right. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Got a good tip on it, for sure. That's going to be okay. Now let's bring out the scales and see what this weighs, because I know looking at their stats, this is this is one thing that if there's going to be one downside, this is probably going to be this. Hello, it says on my scale, greeting me like no one else does. And yeah, 3.75 ounces. That's even more than they say. They claim 3.65, so it's not potato potato. It's not a huge deal, but yeah, it's a bit heavy for a knife this size for a three-inch blade knife. But uh, it is full titanium, but is it milled out? I didn't look at that. Yeah, there's some significant milling in there. I was coming across in the camera. But, uh, huh, I'm kind of surprised it weighs that much. Must be this backspacer and that pocket clip. That is a significant amount of titanium, so uh, that could be part of it. But, oh, I'm really impressed with the ergonomics on this. Holy crap. I really am. Obviously meant to be used as I'm using it, uh, choked up. It, you can... I can almost fit all four fingers on the back. You can use it like this, but that's a whole lot of dead space before you reach the cutting edge. It's obviously meant to be used more like this. And maybe there's a there is a good amount of space between between the fingers there. Um, but I don't know. I don't find it to be annoying. I could see if you're using it long term, if you're using it for like hours on end. 
I think that might get a bit uncomfortable, but just how it feels in your hands. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. Let's uh, see how it goes. Hey, see how this pocket clip works, and then I'll get you guys out of here. We're already over 10 minutes. I wanted it to be like five, but uh, I, I talk. I ramble. It's it's what I do. So ramp's pretty good. You slides right over. Ye old Levi's. Not bad at all. You can see what you what you have sticking out there is just some blue anode fancy pants titanium reflecting the red off my ceiling. So uh, yeah, liking that. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a it's a little flashy, but it looks kind of uh, man jewelry ish. I'm gonna off screen here, put this in my own pocket, see and see uh, how it is getting my hand past it and stuff because it looks a bit tall. It you know what doesn't feel tall in my pocket at all. My hand slides right by it. But I'm sitting down, which is usually like the worst, worst way to check this. Least advantageous towards the knife, and it's not bad. I really freaking like this thing. I was like, I mean, I asked to check one out. I thought it looked cool, and I know that it's just, just you know that that uh, um, make sure I get his name right here. I can. I'm so bad at people's names. Uh, John Rusk designed it. He said he says it's his first like sketch pad to reality is what he calls it for sketch pad to reality folder and uh, i wanted to check it out because i thought it looked kind of cool but i did not expect to like it this much this is really nice and 279 dollars i don't it feels like every bit of 279 bucks to me it it, uh, it really does it really does qsp has been knocking out of the park with everything so that i shouldn't be as surprised as i am but uh this is this is excellent this is excellent. I'm going to carry it for a few days, and then uh, I will do a full review, like I said, probably like the night before they drop, so keep an eye out for that. But in the meantime, you can go to their site and gawk at their pretty pictures. They have lots of really cool pretty pictures, and uh, yeah, that frag pattern is pretty cool, too. Maybe if I bought one, I might get the frag, but I guess it probably wouldn't slide in and out of the pocket as well with that frag pattern all over it, but still, it, it looks cool. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.